Today is June 21st, and we are about to watch the sunrise in Boston. Pay attention to the location of the sunrise. Is it exactly to the east? And there's the sun rising already, at 5.12 a.m. The sun is just about to hit its highest point, and there! It's 1 p.m. in the middle of June, and the sun is at its highest point. Now that the sun has already reached its peak, it starts to curve back downward towards sunset. We are about to watch the sunset on June 21st. Pay attention to where it sets. In the summer, it is not exactly west, but somewhat north of west. And when the sun rose, it rose somewhat north of east. There, sunset, 8.18 p.m., the latest sunset of the year in Boston. So what do we have for total daylight? It looks like on June 21st, we get a grand total of 15 hours and six minutes of daylight. Not too shabby considering that leaves only about nine hours of darkness in nighttime. Today is December 21st, and eventually we are going to watch the sunrise in Boston, but it's going to take a while. Note the location of the sunrise, which is not exactly to the east. Try to figure out, does the sun rise north of east or south of east? And there's the sun rising at 7.14 a.m. The sun hits its highest point in the sky at noon in the winter. So now the sun begins its descent down to sunset which doesn't take too long in the winter. Pay attention to the location of the sunset. Does the sun set north of west or south of west? There it goes, and it's only a few minutes past 4 p.m. There sure is a lot of night in the winter. And now for the final tally on daylight. It looks like on December 21st, we're only getting eight hours and 52 minutes of sunlight. Huh, that's not a lot. And it means that almost two thirds of the day is spent without the sun in the sky.